Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to simply create a track and record some audio. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is create a new song project so your audio has somewhere to go. Now you can choose from Studio One's presets if you want, but in this case I'm going to choose an empty song preset. I want a, a clean start here and we'll call it VO for voiceover. Now you want to choose your sample rate. This is the fidelity of your recording. The higher numbers mean the higher fidelity. But don't forget, the higher the number, the larger the files will be. So typically, let's do something in between about 48 and 24 bit. This is a fairly re decent resolution for our recording. And choose OK. And we're now greeted with a beautiful blank canvas to work with. Let me close my browser so we can see the entire edit window area. Now you'll notice here on the left hand side, there are no tracks. You can't record audio if you don't have some place for the audio to go. So if you come up to the menu bar, you can choose track in one of the options from here or T on your keyboard. And here you can name your track, choose what kind of track it's gonna be, instrument, automation, folder and such. You can even choose how many and the identifying color. You can let Studio One choose or you can pick your own color for that track and what kind of track you want, mono or stereo. And pay attention to this, there are some presets available for you for your track. And what these are, are they're really intelligent, highly intuitive presets that have been carefully constructed. I recommend you just experiment with some of these and don't be afraid to dive right in and check them out. So when you're ready, just simply choose OK. And here is our track. But you'll notice there's no audio signal coming in. This is a meter section right here. Uh, if you remember, if you double click on the track box, it'll open up our console view. And here we have the corresponding track that we see here in our edit window. But still, there's no audio here. Well, what we have to do in my case is power our microphone on. If you're using a phantom powered microphone, like a condenser, for example, it's going to need some energy. If you're using a dynamic mic, then you don't. So be very careful. Make sure you understand what kind of microphone you're using before you do this, okay? If you notice here under my settings, under channel components, I can choose audio device controls and input controls. And here you will see them corresponding now. What this is going to do is allow me to remotely control my interface. Now, because I'm using a PreSonus interface with PreSonus software, it's tightly controlled. I can now remotely control this. Watch as I activate my phantom power. Now, if I record enable my track like so, I can now see my microphone level coming in. So these are the steps you want to take to get your input level coming in to your track here in Studio One. Next, I want to point out that here is our preamp control. A lower volume will lower the microphone level and a higher volume will raise it. You want somewhere kind of in between. You don't want to record too hot because you'll clip like that. That's what clipping looks like. And you don't want to be too low because then you won't have any signal at all. So somewhere in between will be really nice. Next, let's open our input controls right here in the lower left corner there. So what you want to do is also assign your input. Right now, I'm coming in through microphone input one. Here you can see input left corresponds to mic line instrument input one. So I have one microphone plugged into my microphone preamp number one on my quantum. And there we go. It's as easy as that. The audio is now coming in and it is being registered. And to record, I simply choose record. Testing check one, test two. We are recording into Studio One Pro. There's our audio. Okay. Now, again, you don't want it too hot. You don't want it too quiet. You want it somewhere in between. So if you do clip, lower the volume either physically on your interface or here remotely if you're using an interface that allows for this capability. And that's how easy it is to create tracks at any time. T key. OK. Here we go. Now I'll change my input to input 2. If I put a microphone in input 2, I can arm it and start recording that way. And that's how simple it is to create a track here in Studio One. Set your levels corresponding to the kind of microphone you're using. Arm your track and record, and you are making music. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.